What is going on guys? Once again, you guys voted and I'm here to deliver on what you want. As today, I am talking a bit about how exactly crafting and professions will work in Ashes of Creation. This one though, there was just about no gameplay on any of these things other than some crafting stuff that was released recently, so it might be a bit more of the random gameplay in the background than usual. But anyways... In Ashes of Creation, there are many different types of crafting, from alchemy to shipbuilding. There will be a trade skill for everyone to acquire. Crafting is the driving force behind the economy in Ashes, allowing you to gather or create stuff, set up player-owned stalls in a node, and sell whatever it is you made for other players to buy and make your money. But so we don't get confused, let's get off the term crafting for a minute. Because what you would normally call crafting, in Ashes of Creation is actually called Artisan Classes, and within the category of Artisan Classes, you have three different skill trees you can progress in. Gathering, which is the collection of materials throughout the world, this will require you to create harvesting tools and go out and find whatever it is you need. From herbs to cattle, there will be many materials out there for you to find. The higher level the tools, the higher level the material you can gather. But there will also be high level material that are only obtained from world bosses or through item deconstruction. The second category is processing. As it sounds, this artisan class is all about refining materials that have been gathered throughout the world on your adventures, or from when you deconstruct items in the game. These items, once refined, will be what you need for the third artisan tree, which is called crafting. Now you can see why we don't want to get confused, because crafting is the creation of items from those refined materials from the processing class. Players will need to choose one of these three paths in the artisan tree for your character, and within each path has various professions tied into it. You have alchemy, which would be the creation of potions, armor smithing, which obviously would be creating different types of armor, carpentry, which you will be creating furniture for your houses, Cooking, which has you creating various foods. Jewel crafting, which sounds like it'll be the creation of jewelry in the game, such as rings and necklaces, but I haven't really seen anything on socketing items with gems. You then have shipbuilding, which allows players to build ship components that will allow you to alter parts of the ship or the cosmetic look of it. And siege weapons, which can be crafted for castle sieges, unknown if this is its own profession or tied into some form of blacksmithing. And finally, enchanting, which can enhance and augment items and weapons. You will only ever be able to master one of these branches and the various professions that lie with inside it. That doesn't mean you won't be able to try out the other branches though, as you can jump into those at a beginner level before you decide which one you'd like to choose. But once you master one of these, they will grant you things such as titles, items, and certain quests. This system puts in place some reliance on other players, because you need the gatherers to refine the goods, and you need the goods refined to craft items helping keep the economy flowing with the various items that each artisan branch brings to the table. Crafting various items in the world will not be RNG based like a lot of games giving you random stats. You will be able to alter the crafting recipe with dials that allow you to customize stats a bit more in ways like changing out one stat in place of another, or making an item look more magical instead of physical. These recipes will be found throughout the world from quests, monster drops, boss fights, religions, quest lines, and a whole lot more. When you have gathered everything that you need and are ready to jump into those professions, you'll want to head to a crafting station which can be located within freeholds or within nodes. There will be various types of crafting stations depending on what you're looking to do, along with different tiers to them as well, where the higher tier stations will be used to craft higher tier items. Those crafting stations tied to freehold that we know about seem to involve things such as owning your own fishery to catch fish, or be able to groom and breed different types of animals, along with growing your own crops. What are your thoughts on crafting in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and as we get into Alpha 1 and see more of these professions and artisan trees, I'll give you guys a more in-depth look at each one of those. But anyways, if you are new to Ashes and want to jump in on the forums or purchase some cosmetic packs from the store, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. And anyone who signs up before September 7th will get this cool statue for your house in the game. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.